virtual local area networks, VLANs, keep the traffic from each LAN separate from one another by design. If you want some VLANs to have the ability to route traffic between each other, you need to set up inter-VLAN routing. This can be done on a router or a layer three switch. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure inter-VLAN routing on Cisco business switches. You may already have VLANs, but in case you don't, you'll need to create them first. To do this, log in and navigate to the VLAN management menu. Click on the plus sign. On the Add VLAN page, enter a VLAN ID along with a name and click the Apply button. A success notification will show when complete. To add another VLAN, choose another ID and name. Once again, click the Apply button and wait for the success notification on the screen. Close this window. In my case, VLAN 100 and 200 have now been created. From this point forward, I will refer to them by these names, even though yours may differ. Head over to the Interface Settings option under the VLAN Management menu. You can see that switch ports 1 and 2 are configured as Layer 2. Normally, this configuration is required to connect a host on the switch port. Move over to Port VLAN Membership to assign the VLAN on the switch ports. Select switch port number one and click on the Join VLAN button. On the Edit VLAN Membership page, choose the Access VLAN ID as 100 and the Native VLAN ID as 100 from the drop-down menu. This is for the inactive interface only. It will take effect once the interface VLAN mode is changed. Click Apply. The success notification on the screen confirms that VLAN 100 has been assigned to switch port one. From that drop-down menu, select Switch Port 2. Choose the Access VLAN ID as 200 and Native VLAN as 200 and click on the Apply button. Again, you will see a success notification on the screen. Close this window. Now, Port 1 is assigned with VLAN 100 and Port 2 is assigned with VLAN 200. On those two ports, I need to connect a host, like a laptop, to verify the inter-VLAN routing once the configuration is done. Navigate to the IPv4 configuration menu on this switch to create the Layer 3 IPv4 interface for the VLANs that have been created. On the IPv4 interface page, click on the plus button, select VLAN 100 from the VLAN drop-down menu, and choose the IP address type as static. In this example, I'll enter the IP as 172.16.100.1 and the prefix length as 24. Click on the Apply button to save. The success notification lets you know you're good to go there. To do the same steps for your other VLAN, choose VLAN 200 and select the IP address type as static. Enter the IP address as 172.16.200.1 and the prefix length as 24. Click on the Apply button to save the settings and close this window. Success! The IPv4 interface has been created for VLAN 100 and 200. The 172.16.100.1 layer three interface will be the gateway of the host that is connected to VLAN 100. This layer three interface will be the gateway of the host that is connected to VLAN 200. Make sure that the IPv4 routing checkbox is enabled this is required for inter-VLAN routing to work. Once that's done, connect a system on the switch port where VLAN 100 is associated and assign one IP from the VLAN 100 IP pool. Make sure the gateway is configured as 172.16.100.1. Connect another PC on the switch port where VLAN 200 is set and assign the IP from the VLAN 200 pool. Make sure the gateway is configured as 172.16.200.1. To verify inter-VLAN routing, ping both the IPv4 interfaces 172.16.100.1 and 172.16.200.1 and the remote host from any of the two hosts mentioned above. The ping should be successful. If you do not have a successful ping, there is a chance that the Windows firewall or antivirus settings on the host are causing the issue. So you'll want to check those settings. 
Additionally, you may create a dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP, server on the switch to provide the IP address to the hosts connected on VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 respectively. Finally, to save the settings, click on this blinking red save icon on top of the screen. The notification that the operation has been completed successfully is your final sign that you are all set. Great, now you have inter-VLAN routing configured on your Cisco business switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.